Just about everyone doesn't enjoy the smell of a wet dog. How about dog breeds that usually have a very potent smell? If you can't bear the overwhelming smell of some dog breeds but still want to own one, you're in luck. There are a few dog breeds that are nearly unscented. While you'll still need to provide them with basic care and coat maintenance, none of the 10 breeds on this list have a distinctive smell. Hello and welcome to Dog Joy. In today's episode, we're going to learn all about the top 10 dog breeds that don't stink. Stay tuned to the end. You may be surprised what you learn in this one. Let's get started. Number 10. Chihuahua. Chihuahuas can be noisy and a little louder than you might imagine, but they are wonderful dogs. This breed is ideal for city life and apartment living because of its small stature. Did you know that there are seven different sorts of chihuahuas? In terms of size, they're all similar or identical. They're little, have short coats and don't have much of an odour, if any at all. To be honest, all dogs will have a distinct odour. After all, they are not people and have natural animal characteristics. Regular brushing, in addition to basic grooming, can help. After a walk, make sure to clean their paws before entering back inside the house. Number 9. Doberman Pinzer Dobermans are known for being the best guard dogs. They spend their days doing nothing when they're not defending the house and safeguarding their beloved humans. Even when they're at their most active and sprinting, you can't smell them. Dobermans are one of the most low-maintenance dog breeds. They are tidy, clean and have a very short, lustrous coat. They may not be smelly, but they do shed. Practically all dogs shed at some point during the year. Brush your Doberman at least once a week to keep shedding under control. Check your Doberman's coat for any signs of a coat or skin infection if you notice a stronger smell. Check their ears as well. Yeast buildup or even dental troubles could be present. Gums should be checked once a week and veterinarian visits should be scheduled on a regular basis. Number 8. Boston Terrier the Boston Terrier has a good natural fragrance and does not develop an odour even when slightly unclean, as befitting a dog renowned as the American Gentleman. Their short coats are simple to keep clean and require little upkeep. Boston Terrier puppies have a wide range of personalities. Some are silly and amusing, while others are serious and strict, but they all share a firm belief that they are the most important and powerful beings in the universe. Given how little these puppies are, that's incredibly endearing. Bostons are small dogs as adults, so you can imagine how small they are as puppies. It only adds to their allure. They're as active as puppies and are continually on the move. Because they're continually running around or contemplating destroying stuff, you'll want to keep your shoes and other valuables off the ground. Number 7. Lakeland Terrier the Lakeland Terrier is a dog that doesn't shed much and has a low smell. These dogs enjoy being active and spending time outside. Despite the fact that they aren't afraid of getting dirty and having adventures, you should avoid overwashing them. Brushing your Lakeland Terrier once a week with occasional cutting or even stripping should suffice to keep them well groomed. Lakelands were developed to hunt foxes and guard cattle, so they have plenty of energy to follow you around. Make sure you're getting adequate exercise. You may consider agility and other dog-related competitions. These energetic canines make excellent companions and are terrific people pleasers. Because they are a highly intelligent and independent breed, they may be stubborn during training, so be prepared and have patience. Number 6. Pomeranian Is it even possible that this small puppy would stink? No. However, there are certain exceptions. When their opulent coats get wet, you might catch a whiff of them. If there is yeast or a high level of bacteria, you will be able to smell them just like any other dog. This little rascal is all about having a good time and getting things done their way. They are prone to putting up their own show. They are self-assured, inquisitive and enjoy being indulged. Don't be fooled by their size. Poms can spend days following you around and being active. Just keep in mind that they're heat sensitive and will need to cool down from time to time. Heat stroke in dogs is fairly common, so make sure you have plenty of shade and a bottle of water with you at all times. Their thick coat necessitates brushing on a regular basis. You might want to consider hiring a professional groomer to keep the dog looking extra sharp. Number 5. Tibetan Terrier Tibetan Terriers are endemic to Tibet, as their name suggests. They were bred to spend the majority of their time with Buddhist monks. These little terriers acted as Buddhist monks' friends when they weren't busy being companion dogs. Tibetan Terriers do not have the typical doggy smell of other breeds, making them a wonderful choice for persons who are sensitive to the normal smells of dogs and cats. 
The holy dog is the name given to this breed. People used to call them this because they were thought to bring good luck. Tibetan Terriers are typically 14 to 16 inches tall and weigh 20 to 40 pounds. Despite the fact that they're called Terriers, they lack numerous well-known Terrier characteristics. In truth, they lack the temperaments and instincts of those well-known Terriers. Simply said, they are uninterested in rodents or tiny animals. They do, however, have that well-known Terrier personality trait of being interested and energetic. Number 4. Brussels Griffin Brussels griffins are modest in size, but they pack a punch when it comes to their watching abilities. This is a watchful dog with a pleasant disposition toward those they know, love and tolerate. Unless they've rolled in anything, griffins do not smell. The Brussels griffin is a small, intelligent dog that is ideal for apartment living. This breed may be recognised for its low shedding coat among individuals who suffer from allergies. That Brussels griffin is for you if you desire a petite, non-shedding and sometimes clingy dog. Griffins get along well with large families and children as long as the children respect their space and demands. If you are certain that the Brussels griffin is the breed for you, keep in mind that it will be expensive. This is a more expensive dog than the norm. You may recall this breed from the film As Good As It Gets, starring Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt. This little Belgian bred dog has some excellent hunting abilities. They were bred specifically to keep rodents out of stables, and they were successful. They are affectionate, but they may also be moody, especially if their attention is taken off. This breed is frequently seen in dog exhibitions and dog sports contests. Number 3. Portuguese Water Dog the fluffy coat and remarkable swimming abilities of the Portuguese water dog are well known. This is a devoted and active dog who may spend hours swimming or simply being near water. This breed is noted for being a low shedding dog, making him a popular choice for anyone looking for a dog that doesn't shed a lot. If you live near a beach or a lake, or if you simply spend a lot of time enjoying water sports, this breed should surely be your first pick. Their low shedding coats are hypoallergenic and resistant to smell formation. To maintain your Portuguese water dog in tip-top shape, provide him with regular, well-organized and scheduled exercise time. Overall, this breed makes a fantastic family dog who adapts well to different environments if you provide the necessary support and care. Number two, soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier is a lively breed that frequently appears on lists of dogs that don't stink. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, which originated in Ireland, was primarily employed for herding and guarding animals. They were utilised to hunt rodents when they weren't chasing about the farms. Like any other dog, this breed requires moderate exercise and a good diet. On St. Patrick's Day in 1937, the Irish Kennel Club recognised them as an official breed. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier Club was founded in the United States on St. Patrick's Day 1962. Be prepared for non-stop friendly behaviour and frequent digging if you get this dog. This breed, like most terrier breeds, is noted for digging skills. As a result, make sure that this behaviour is addressed right at the start with some training and socialising. Number 1. Poodles The Poodle was the original hypoallergenic dog breed that served as the blueprint for the Labradoodles non-shedding and odour-free characteristics. Despite the fact that they came in a variety of sizes, ranging from tiny to huge, they were all developed for one purpose, to be noble companions. Poodles are the dogs with the least amount of smell. Poodles today haven't deviated much from their original purpose. They're still great inside pets who don't stink or shed. Poodles are also well known for being wonderful family pets. Even if you're not an aristocrat, your impeccably clean poodle will make you feel like one. Because of their diverse temperaments, grooming requirements and sizes, any of the dogs featured in this video may be a fantastic addition to any home. If you're thinking about bringing one of these odorless dogs into your house, keep an eye out for dogs that are available for adoption in your neighbourhood. So, which of these amazing pups pass your sniff test? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe and share with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.